morning and welcome back to the Wealthy Optimist. I am Sarah and I am super, super tired. <laughs> I I'm um, actually about to enjoy a really delicious looking cappuccino. Let me show this to you. Uh, it looks delicious, but um, and much needed caffeine after the um, night that I had last night. So we went on an adventure yesterday. I'm I'm gonna make sure to link the um, post of the video from yesterday here, so you can check it out. We went and saw like all of the check mark things that you need to do while you're in Paris, like just beautiful photos, uh, beautiful sights that we got to see. It was really fun, but uh, it was like a 13 hour day and I'm so, so tired and hostel, staying at a hostel is very exhausting. Um, I went to bed at like maybe two o'clock in the morning because I was, you know, just couldn't fall asleep and it was very, very hot in our room. And then uh, somebody woke up at seven and they kept hitting their snooze button like why what just wake up make a choice in your life if you're gonna set your alarm for seven you wake up at seven don't keep pushing snooze and then every nine minutes or eight minutes or whatever it is in the iPhone keep putting snooze on again you know for like 45 minutes like no you decide something in your life to you do that Anyways, that's my end of the rant. Um, I did also, I bought like a something Lululemon, in, some pants in London, and they have a hole in them. So uh, luckily here in Paris, before I actually go travel other places, they don't have Lululemon, but they have it here. So I'm gonna go and um, exchange those today because they have like a lifetime warranty. Um, so I will exchange those today and then I'm actually gonna try to go to the Palace of Versailles. I was gonna go to Disneyland today, but I'm too, too tired for Disneyland. I'm gonna just take a chill day, get some work done, go see some palaces and stuff like that. I'll probably end up touring around for like a good like six, seven hours because there's a lot to see here. Um, and then, uh, and I'll be taking the metro too, so I'll um, link the video uh, here for how you should take the metro in Paris because that's super important so you can save a lot of money traveling around. Um, and then after that, tomorrow I think I'm going to go to Disneyland. So this is the next couple of days. Uh, if you're tuned in and you're subscribed and you've got a little bell notification on, you're going to see these um, things that I'm going to be doing and you can check out what it's like. Tomorrow is also Best Skill Day. So I think that Disneyland is going to have some really cool like fireworks and stuff like that. You know, they always kind of go all out. So And it's my first time going to Disneyland Paris. So I really do want to go um, while I'm here, even though I will be going by myself, which I don't know if that's lame or awesome, but I'm going to go with awesome because, you know, how fun is that, right? Uh, so yeah, that's my day. Um, thanks you guys so much for watching. It's It's been it's been a ride uh, so far. I, I'm not going to lie, I'm excited for in two weeks when I get to um, Athens and I'm able to stay in an Airbnb for a month because that is going to be super relaxing. I'm going to feel like I'm at home. I'm going to get some normal sleep. I'm bouncing around from hostels, even if you go, oh, it's loud here. <laughs> bouncing around from hostels, even if you go every like five days, is it's tiring. It's tiring because there's so many other people. But I did meet some really cool people, which is nice. Like yesterday, I spent the whole day with a girl. It was super fun. And then when I got back to the hostel, I met another really nice girl from Switzerland. So uh, it, it is nice. You do get to meet some cool people. So and you get to learn so much about different people's cultures and countries, and it's it's awesome. So that's really cool. Um, and I met some nice girls from Australia too. Uh, yeah. So let's figure out where the lemon is and get this day rolling. So mission number number one is complete. They actually have three Lululemon stores here in Paris and I did not know that. But uh, Lululemon is just behind me and they so thankfully, even though I didn't have a receipt and I had already washed them, they actually exchanged both pieces, the pants and the shirts, for brand new ones, which is awesome. They didn't have the same color of pants, which is a bummer, but um, they did have the slightly longer version of the pants in a, in a darker color, which is actually great because the other ones were also a little tiny bit too short. So I really lucked out. I'm really happy that totally turned my day around <laughs> um, from how tired and like grumpy I was when I first woke up um, and how sad and disappointed I was that my really nice Lululemon stuff got ruined. Um, so that's really awesome and I'm excited about that. So I've got my, my new pieces in my bag. Uh, so happy. Um, and now they're brand new and it's great too because um, that's one thing I will say. <laughs> That's one thing I will say about Lululemon is they really stand by their quality of clothes. So if something happens, like it's best to keep the receipt of course and like keep the tags on, but if, if something happens and it gets like somehow destroyed or ruined, like um, normally like the things that, that might happen to mine, 
uh, they said they wouldn't normally exchange it for but the pants had like these tiny little holes um, so luckily and it's also I'm from Vancouver where Lululemon headquarters is so they ended up exchanging it end of the story I'm super happy yay and now I can move on and go and enjoy uh, some of my day here in Paris and this area over here is really cute um, as well I'm not sure what area I'm in oh I'm in the fourth so I'm in the fourth and it's very cute. There's lots of like really cutesy boutique shops over here. Um, so I think I'm gonna maybe just explore around a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna try and head over to the palace because I want to see the palace. And yay, I'm very happy today. Of course I would, being me, I would find my way to the first ever library that was built in Paris. So behind me is La, oh, what is it called? Bibliothèque Historique. So it's like the historical library and it was uh, the first ever library built in Paris and it says that it was built in 1538. So sorry for the bad lighting. This is better here. Um, so it was built in 1538 which is really cool and I'm gonna go inside there because that's so exciting for me. Uh, I love books and I'm very excited to actually see inside the first ever library built in Paris. You know, 500 years ago. Very cool. what this is this building but it's absolutely stunning there's a beautiful clock in the middle like look at this it's absolutely beautiful the architecture so it looks like it's a church um, but you know it's it's just the buildings are beautiful everything is just absolutely Sunny. So I think it's very important that you just kind of like get lost and wander around and there's so many different districts like um, Now I'm in the sixth district, but like there's like 17 or 18 or 19 I'm not even sure how many but there's so many areas and each area has like a different kind of style and a different vibe and different shops and different churches and it's just beautiful So you need to really just get off the beaten path and wander around and see what you can find um, I also I love going to churches um, also like because they have just so much rich history and there's so much art like it's a beautiful overwhelm of art inside of these churches and old paintings and some of the churches are you know 500 years old or more depending on which part of Europe you're in so definitely get off the beaten path wander around see what you can find that's how I accidentally found that library back there and how I accidentally just found this beautiful church and all these different streets so definitely definitely my advice to you is get out there and walk see what there is to see Bazaar de Hotel de Ville and I think it's also a museum maybe because it keeps saying there's like museum signs um, I'm not really using Google Maps today to kind of find out where I am I'm just really like taking it easy and chill and just exploring and uh, it looks like a beautiful beautiful building 
and on the front of it it says Liberté, Equalité, Fraternité. So um, maybe it was something else before. I'm gonna have to look it up later on when I get home. Um, but yeah, Hotel de Ville. It's very, very pretty, and there's a huge open courtyard here, and it's it's very beautiful. So, um, and I also saw like a big tower over that way, and uh, I'm gonna actually check out that tower as well too and see what that is over there. So the tower thing that I saw that I was gonna walk over to was the Tour de Saint Jacques. Uh, so just behind me, and I'm gonna head over to the courtyard there. Um, it's like a little park, it looks like, from the outside, and all fenced in. Uh, this is really beautiful, and then I also see now, just in front of me, Notre Dame. So we are headed over there right after. I uh, walked a few more blocks, and I stumbled upon yet another beautiful monument. So this is the Tour de Saint Jacques, and uh, as you can see behind me, it's quite beautiful, quite exquisite. I'm gonna go read up a little bit more on it, um, but it's, it's really nice to just kind of wander around and find new things. There's actually a beautiful little like courtyard here and a garden and a playground for kids. Uh, so this is kind of like, it looks like a little like mini sanctuary away from, an oasis if you would, away from the busyness of the outside city. So you can come in here and there's nice trees, nature. They have a couple places like this that I've stumbled upon so far. One was over also by the Eiffel Tower. I'll link that video here and you can check that out. Um, and yeah, it's, there's like, you can have a picnic, there's a park, it's very pretty here. two quick things so before I explain what's behind me one is there's a misconception that Paris is a very very dirty city and that there's dog poop all over the streets and stuff like that like I swear this rumor is going around and I thought that it was gonna be like that I have literally been wandering around the streets for you know a long time now and I have seen barely any any dog poops whatsoever second thing um, is you know it if people are under the misconception that it's a very dangerous city any city can be dangerous if you wander around flashing all this different stuff and leaving your bag hanging open and not paying attention to your belongings. Any place can be dangerous when you aren't being responsible as a traveler. So be responsible. Your hometown can be dangerous if you're acting a fool or going out late at night and drinking and getting too drunk to know what's going on. Stuff like that is dangerous and it's dangerous anywhere. So as long as you're you know, smart and you keep your wits about you and you're always watching your bags and you know, use a travel safe locking bag or something like that like I have. If, um, and I'll post a video here that shows which bag I use. Um, but just keep your wits about you and be safe. And uh, the other thing I wanted to say is, although it was very, very nice yesterday to make a friend and I spent the whole 13 hours traveling around with her and seeing all the sights, it's also very nice, this is the beauty of solo travel, today it's very nice to be by myself. It's very nice to be able to decide where I wanna to go today and kinda of just wander around and get lost and not have to worry about anything So and be on my own schedule. So that's the beauty of solo traveling. I really appreciate the time that I'm able to spend by myself right now. So now behind me, um, we've got a couple of things. So there's a, a cathedral over here. There's um, uh, behind me over here that you can't see right now because there's a bus, yeah, right there is Notre Dame. There's also uh, St. Michael's or uh, Michael's Cathedral <clears throat> or St. Cathedral. I'm gonna write the names here because I've, I've seen too many things right now and it's hard for me to remember everything. But um, Notre Dame is over there. There's also the courtyard graveyard with the gravestones that's um, in the back behind here too. And then there's the tower um, of the city which is on the bridge as well too. So there's a lot of stuff for me to go and explore over there and I'm excited so we're gonna go and check it all out. And there's also the beautiful canal here. And a couple of really beautiful bridges that line the, the streets going across. So lots of stuff to check out and let's go adventure. And of course too I have my um, Starbucks. Oh something else to note too. That's different in Paris. I asked for a double espresso um, on ice and in Canada that would be two shots of espresso. In Paris it meant four shots of espresso and I had to, I looked at it and I was like this is very dark I don't think this is right and he was like oh it's four shots and I was like yeah I will have a heart attack if you give me four shots of espresso <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, that's something to note too. You just say, if you want a double, you just say espresso. And then you will get a double, it's automatic. So, you know, insider tip if you really need to get your Starbucks fix. Um, although I have been having like lots of other different kinds of coffee, it's nice sometimes to go and get, you know, my uh, espresso on ice with coconut milk and cinnamon. It's very particular. So when you have cravings for home, do what you gotta do. Make yourself feel comfortable. Chapelle. So this was built in the 13th century by King Louis um, as a part of the uh, royal palace in the city center and um, it hosts a lot of the passions of the Christ. So really important um, arts and uh, artifacts and it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. So that was really funny. Um, to get into the Saint Chapelle, you have to actually go through a security check. And I had like three bottles of water for some reason and my my coffee. And um, he's like, "Oh, I just have to like smell the, smell the coffee." And I'm like, "Okay, sure. Like, if you want some, go ahead." And then uh, he was like, "Oh, you also have like all these water bottles." And and uh, I'm like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Don't worry. Only only two of them are vodka." And he's laughing. And they were really nice and friendly. And then he's like, "Can you open your purse for me, please?" And he goes, "Qu'est-ce que c'est?" <laughs> And uh, it's, I'm like, it's a lipstick. And he's like, oh my god, <laughs> it's a panda. And I'm like, it's so cute though. Look how cute. I got this in Paris just yesterday. And I think it's adorable from Mac. But um, yeah, he was laughing so much. He's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Fun times. absolutely cannot miss coming to Saint Chapelle. Um, it does cost uh, 15 euros for both the concierge and Saint Chapelle, but this is, you know, something else. It's absolutely amazing. It was built in the 13th century and the kings of France lived here in this palace and prayed here at this chapel until the 14th century. Like, that's incredible. You cannot miss seeing this. It's absolutely beautiful. You've got to have a croque monsieur while you're in Paris. Classic sandwich, ham and cheese grilled. The eighth thing you absolutely can't miss while you're here in Paris is the Pantheon, which is behind me, and the beautiful cathedrals that surround it, and the towers. This place seems like it was built by giants. It is so impressive and beautiful here. You absolutely have to come and walk around in this area and go inside these buildings. It's stunning. 
behind me is the Pantheon. This place literally feels like it was built by giants. It is so huge and so impressive, so monumental. You absolutely cannot miss seeing this. I just, I'm so in love with Paris. It's been such a pleasure, a pleasure. Oh, I can see the Eiffel Tower from here. Yay, look. That's it, that's the Eiffel Tower right there. It's been, um, it's been such a pleasure being able to come here and spend some time here, but I've got to say, five days is not enough. I have barely scratched the surface of what's happening and, and all the different stuff to see here. Um, but I did get to see a lot. I still have tomorrow. Um, I was supposed to actually go to the Palace of Versailles today was my plan. That didn't happen um, because there was too much to see over here. I still, today also, I'm gonna to go to Notre Dame. Um, I just went inside St. Chapelle, which was amazing. Now I'm at the Pantheon. I'm just kind of wandering around and seeing everything. I've got to go back and go to the concierge because I've got tickets for that. Um, and I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day in, in central uh, Paris. And then tomorrow, I'm going to the Palace of Versailles because I cannot miss it. Um, but this has been such a beautiful day. It's been so beautiful and amazing. I really hope that you would um, subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos like this and follow my journeys around the world as I explore all this ancient beauty that Europe has to offer. Um, I'm just, ah, I'm so in love right now. Paris is absolutely stunning. And if you've never been here, you need to put it on your list to come and see all of these beautiful places. And I've gotta be honest, it's July right now. Um, and it is uh, not as touristy as I thought like it is there's a lot of tourists here But it's not so so bad like you will have a great time I think no matter what time of year you decide to come and the weather has been lovely right now, too, so <sighs> It's beautiful here